Hey, what is going on guys? Hex coming up back in today, and I was just going to drop a video the other day, but I got my new mic, my Audio AT, uh, tech, my Audio Technica AT 2020, which I'm going to show you guys real quick, so excuse the quality, which is really cool, it has a built-in LED and everything, so it's a really cool mic, it's one of the best ca uh, cardio mics you can get, they say, so I really wanted to, you know, go back, redo the videos, and record th with a better quality mic. Uh, let me know if you guys can tell, I mean, you should, it should be like more smoother, I feel like my voice is less scratchy and whatnot. And so, basically, we're gonna hop into this. So, what do I think about Nogami first off? And you know, I was debating whether to, whether to do, do this like in a renew video, anyways, be, simply because Nogami is like it's definitely an anime that's like it's a, it's different. You know, it gives you a special feel. And if you like Bleach, you're gonna like this anime. I want to say it right now, Nogami is a long running. It's not a long running, my bad. It's, a, it's been out a while, and I just haven't gotten around to watching it. But anyway, let's just hop right into the video. And about Norgami. First off, Norgami's main character is nothing that you would expect, actually. Norgami's main character is a goofball. He's selfish. But at the same time, he is actually a badass. He actually just you piss him off, you're in trouble. Don't don't piss him off. That's what I gotta say. Do not piss Yato off. And th this story consists of uh, three main characters. You got Yori, Yuki, and Yato, obviously. So Yato is basically a character who uh he wants to, you know, become a god. Oh, he is a god. He wants to become a more important god. And the story keeps on going on and on and on. And it starts uh, swirling around like, Yato used to be a very bad person. And so, guys, right now, in like the first season, second season, you start learning slow, slowly about it. But he used to just like, he just basically used to kill people. Like, you told him to kill somebody, you paid him, he would. He was a god of calamity, they called it. Which, calamity is basically a god that just destroys everything. And, you know, the claim itself is just devastation, complete devastation. And so you have this character, that's, he's just so nice. You know, he's just so, he's, he's selfish, but he's so nice and just a goofball. You know, he, he seems harmless. And then you got Hiyori. Hiyori actually saved Yato from getting hit from a truck, which wouldn't have hurt Yato anyways, because he's a god, obviously, his spirits. The only people that are only supposed to be, be able to see spirits is, are infants and animals. So it was weird that Hiyori really noticed them anyways, because, like, you can notice them, but, like, you're not really supposed to notice them, because there's a part where he's getting food out of Hiyori's kitchen with, and her dad's literally standing right next to him, and his mom's looking directly at them, but she doesn't notice them. So it brings you to a little little thing called uh what the hell and it's like how did she notice him so obviously there's something special about about hiori anyways but once she gets hit by that truck as she saves the action and turns to a phantom so well, she's partly phantom like basically she's half dead half alive her spirit just leaves her body so you're at a part where it doesn't make sense and it's just like there's something special about her but even where i'm at in season two they haven't even gotten into that there's kind of like Huh, well that's weird. And you know, they, they never even said, how did you see me beforehand anyways? And it's just leaving that question that's like, definitely want to be answered. So usually when you have a big question that wants to be answered in this anime, it gets answered right after. <laughs> like the next episode, I'll be like, well what the hell's up with that? Then, oh what do you know, the, just literally, like, next episode, oh, okay that makes sense. But then you have, uh, Yuki. I can't remember an exact name for it, but excuse me guys, but like, you can turn these spirits back into the human form. And only gods can do it, and they become your weapon. They can turn to a weapon, whether it's a sword, a whip, it can be clothing, it can be all those things. It's I can't remember. I think it starts with A. I can't remember the exact exact word. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember that, guys. That's totally my fault. But then you have you have two other gods that basically are yeah two other gods that are basically around the god of poverty, and I think the other one's god of wisdom. I can't remember. Don't hold me to that. I'm not sure. But this anime, guys, I just want to say. It definitely has its own personal feel to it. It's like like fairy tale. People will ask, "Hey, can you give me something kind of like fairy tale?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I can say, hey, go watch Naruto." Um, I mean, that's probably the closest thing. But like, the thing about it is, fairy tale has a sp specific feel. It has a feel where you can only get that certain feel and feel that way because fairy tale is what it is. And the same thing with Noragami. Like, like, oh, can you give me something like Noragami? Uh, Bleach. 100% bleach, bleach is, yeah, it makes sense, I, I mean, spirits and whatnot, but it's totally different, it goes in the direction of gods and whatnot, and it, Norgami has its own specific feel, you cannot get this, you want to get the exact same feel from bleach that you're going to get from Norgami, it's just not going to happen, but hey guys, this is Hex Competitive, as always, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, at Hex25, and let me know what you guys think about the, my new Audio-Technica AT2020, 
I actually love it. That's that's another reason why I'm uh, wearing these headsets because I there's an audio jack for my headsets. I can hear myself talk. I can hear how clear it is. I can hear you know. I can basically before I finish recording, I can decide whether I need to stop a video or not because I can tell if the video is sounding good. Am I being fluent with my words? All them things. I still need to get a pop filter on it. I think I'm gonna get a metal one because uh, I think I'm, they're supposed to be better. I have this pop filter over here that I used to use for my snowball, but I mean hey. Let me know guys, does it sound better right now when I'm talking through the pop filter even? But just let me know guys down in the comments below. Or does it sound better like this? But hey guys, as always, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Share my videos, like my videos, comment, subscribe if you guys like my videos. Thanks for 700. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Check out Norgami. And also, what to watch video next is probably going to be Tokyo Ghoul. When I get into that, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.